For 2014, Asheville may have set a tourism record. Yeah, News 13's Aaron Adelson is live downtown. And Aaron, I understand the tourism numbers are already off to a good start for 2015. Tammy, they are. It's a bit quiet where we are right now, but all day downtown has been packed. Many of those people are tourists and many of them here for the first time. This is what Virginia McKinley came for. I think it's neat. It's her first time visiting Asheville. You can expect many more first-timers. International travel experts, Frommers, name Asheville as one of the best places to go in 2015. Welcome to Malaprops. As a destination, Frommers specifically names the downtown bookstore Malaprops. And it's great news. We're very happy to hear it. The store comes reader approved. They have a whole section of mystery books that are wrapped in cardboard, and you don't really know what you're getting, so that's kind of unique. While readers pack Malaprops, the right word comes to Jonathan Hendricks. I guess eclectic would be a good word for it. It's also his first time here. People are definitely different. You have somebody country like me that could live 15 miles from here and then somebody completely different that looks like they're from California. Hendricks came for 12 bones. Frommer's name dropped the barbecue joint. Closed on this holiday, Hendricks says he'll be back. Tourists come for the culture, food, and... I'll do the 828 pale. Sure. Oh my gosh. People come for the craft beer. Asheville Brewing's assistant general manager appreciates landing on Frommer's list. That's huge. Uh, we, you know, we have to keep reinventing ourselves and more and more breweries are coming into the town. Some of the bigger ones, big name breweries. And uh, it's where people want to come. If you want to get a good pint, it's where people want to go. Combine all these things. We're uh, looking forward to coming back. Asheville's tourism industry is off to a good start. And Frommer's named two other destinations, the Biltmore and also the Brevard Music Festival. Reporting live downtown, Aaron Adelson, News 13.